Hello there, it is I, the Geordie Nerd, and I am back again with another episode of Trailer Park Boys Season 5, Episode 8. The last episode was fantastic, and I'm excited to continue on with the show. Link is down below for the Patreon if you want to help support the channel, and all my other social media links. So yeah, let's just get this now, and have some fun. Ricky, I need my card hammer back. Do you watch Trinity driving around the park with no brakes? Right now I'm just changing the brake hose on the car for Trinity. I don't want her driving around the park in an unsafe car. And actually, when we sell the hash, I'm going to give her this car. I mean, how many fathers can give their nine-year-old daughter a car? And I'm just happy I'm in a position I can do something like that. Uh, yeah, I mean, a lot of parents probably could give their nine-year-old a car if they had the money. But they shouldn't give a nine-year-old a car. That's, that's the issue. She's nine. I think I know what's best for my daughter, so fuck off and let me fix the brakes for my daughter and then I'll help you with the hash. You guys don't always know what's best, my fucking thoughts have feelings of their own too sometimes. Ricky, what are you talking about? I don't know, Bubbles. I don't know. <laughs> get like... Ne idea, ne idea, mate. This is where I go to get most of them, this stuff fucking gold mine down here. This is one of the spots I've been coming for years. It's usually just littered with dirty old fucking carts right here. Holy fuck. Get down. Get the fuck down. That's Gary the head mall cop. If he sees me, I'm fucked. We're gonna have to wait this one out, boys. Jesus. Bubbles. Fuck. Bubbles. <laughs> Come on out of there. I think he sees you, fella. It's time to give it up. You're not the one who gets the calls from head office night and day asking about stolen shopping carts. You're not the one who waits to go to a Krista Berg concert for three and a half years so I can go in and miss the encore of Don't Pay the Ferryman because I'm on the phone in the foyer talking about stolen shopping carts. I'm the one who gets those calls, Bubbles, not you, me. And you know what? I don't want to get those calls anymore. Well, why don't you fucking turn your cell phone off, Gary? <laughs> I was genuinely, genuinely going to say exactly, exactly the same thing. Just fucking turn your phone off, mate. Gary's fucking all over me. I misjudged their perseverance, I guess. Oh, no. Well, I'm going to have to go kill head mole cop then, because he made my bubbles cry. Mr. Leahy, after... Everyone's gone back to jail. We're gonna stop drinking, right? Absolutely. He promised, Mr. Well, Lady. Did you hear that? What were you saying? It is very, very sad. He plays it so well, and I genuinely do feel sorry for him because he's obviously a very, very broken man. <laughs> Mr. Olsen had a fucking good night then. Uh, no, I can't do that. We're working for Julian. Sorry. I want to hang out with you, buddy, but I can't do it. It kind of pissed me off when Corey and Trevor came in and said that they wouldn't look after Trinity. I mean, I told them they were going to, but I guess it's much better for them to be working for Julian, learning some important skills, than hanging around with Ricky driving in that stupid car of his. So I know she said that they weren't lovers they're more slaves but i mean what's their incentive and now i'm not saying that this sh she should provide an incentive but if you're getting them to do everything what are they getting out of it do, are they not even getting a sly handy do you know what i mean like what are they getting is it just the experience of being slaves go start cutting up the driveway we're gonna start shipping that stuff out tonight okay all right where's the i am genuinely okay with money like i'm saving up currently but also at the same time i'm like oh this for like 5.99 yeah i'll get five and then i'll be like where did all my money go so yeah i'm i'm both good and bad with money all right this is what i want you to do okay, i'm listening you take all those cards you throw them over the bank all right absolutely that's all i want you to do okay yes and you're not gonna call the cops are you no I mean, either it was intimidation or he has no trigger discipline, this dude. Because you should not be doing that shit. It, it, it may go off in his face. 
Actually, Lucy, here's some money for you. Have some drinks, but don't get too drunk, all right? I don't want you to pass out or whatever. I'm gonna see you later. Well, if I pass out, I won't be any use to anyone, right? So. That's what oh. I'm saying. Don't pass out. Just have like five or six drinks or whatever. I never do that. It'll be fine. Can I have some money for school supplies? Sure. No, Ricky. I think it's fucking school supplies. Those are like 180 quid. Well, dollars, Canadian dollars, whatever it is. I don't know. Fuck. Maybe they're turned a new leaf ever since they saw how you took care of Ray and J-Rock. From a distance, they look like ordinary flowers, Randy. But when you get right down, stick your nose in, you realize you're shit flowers, and there's a whole fucking bouquet there right in front of Ray's trailer. I'm starting to think that this guy has some sort of fetish for shit, because everything he, he equates to shit, every single thing is like, that shit flowers, shit birds, winds of shit. Like, come on, dude. You... you, you Randy's pooping on you, isn't he? When you're a kid, doing stuff that's legal is a lot more fun than doing stuff that's legal. So I let her take the car. She's only driving around the park. It's no big deal. I told her to put her seatbelt on. I don't see the problem with that. Lucy might have a problem, but she's at bingo. So what Lucy doesn't know won't learn her. What Lucy doesn't know won't learn her. Did that? Did, did he say that there? Wow. And also, dude, she's nine. She, she should. She should not be in your car. We let them come close to us. Like, we wave the peace bond all the time, and we let them within 10 feet of us. I think he knows that's pretty cool of us, too. If I'm pretty sure he might be even intimidated a little bit by us. <laughs> he's, he's afraid. Oh, he's definitely intimidated by you two. He's so scared. Knock, knock, Trevor. I'm not going to say who's there, man. You just did, you fucking idiot. <laughs> oh, Ricky, 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 what, Ricky, what am I doing? What are you doing? Ricky. What the fuck's he doing? Wow, he did stand up for himself, but also, wow. Watch yourself, he's gonna lose a fucking friend, I'll tell you that. <gasps> the cops! The cops! <laughs> did you just tell Kermit, I think that's what you call him, to get in the back? Oh, problem solved now! He's in the back. To fuck right off and fuck off good, okay? You can fuck off too, Mr. Leahy. How about the pants come off, Rick? Oh, and I kick the shit off? out of you. Take them off, Randy. It's gonna happen. It's coming off. Stuff going right now. Why, why, why do you have to take the pants off, though, dude? Like, this is what I'm genuinely concerned about. You, you, you don't need to take off your tight white pants to fight. Trim, what are you doing in there? Oh, easy, God. Rick, easy. Take it easy. You take it easy, you dick. It's my daughter. If Trinity was drinking and driving, I mean, that would be a big deal. But she wasn't. She had my open liquor in the car, going to the store to get her dad a bag of chips, which, what the fuck is the big problem with that? I mean, it, none. If, if you, you know, ignore the fuck that it's illegal, none. Guess not, eh? Okay, we're cool. We're cool. Come on, Lucy. I think Lucy behaved completely appropriately for what was going on. Um, <laughs> she got a little upset. I think any good mother would get a little bit upset when her daughter's being arrested. Oh yeah, she acted totally, totally respectful. I mean, she tried to do sexual favors with a police officer. And I mean, now I wouldn't be a very good police officer because the, the thicker lady with the red, the red hair, whose name I forgot, is definitely attractive. And I'd, I'd have to think about it. Do you know what I mean? I, li I like my ladies thick. <laughs> Boys, am I the only one freaking out here? Like, we're going to jail forever. The bus, hash bus, is in the bus, car, bus, bus. We're not going to jail, right? If the cops are going to search the car, they would have been here hours ago. We just got to get that car out of impound. Oh, there's probably them now. Come in. <laughs> What's up, dude? We've done everything. What? Come in. I mean, technically, it, there's no in if you don't have a roof, dude. Boys, just when the cops get here, tell them I won't resist. I'll just be in my shed hyperventilating. <laughs> Look, Rick, Rick. I know your family's in jail and your car's impounded and everything looks shitty right now, but you gotta stay focused, man. Keep that stick on the ice, all right? Things are gonna turn around, bud. <laughs> wow, uh, yeah, well, well, well done. Another great episode, man. This season is slapping, and it's slapping hard. Um, I think it would have been bad if it was Leahy who got, um, is it Trina? I'm terrible with names. Got the little nine-year-old girl arrested. I think that would have been better because of his plan for revenge. But still, I cannot wait to see what happens in the next episode. Thank you as ever for your support, and I'll see you all again very soon for more Trailer Park Boys reaction videos.